So hello, hello, hello. In today's video, we're gonna learn about how to import props and buildings from CodeWalker to Blender. This is gonna be a quick video, so let's get started. So you know how do we say start a video? Just delete that. Now let's go to Cord CodeWalker. Let's see, find something, extract it, and just import it from the Blender. Um, let me. let's go with this okay so how are you whenever you want to like just import i don't know i should go with a building you don't want this basically you want buildings and etc okay if you want prop to be like there is the same method we don't need anything else okay let's i don't know what building we can like yeah, here is our MRPDs in front of MRPDs building. Just press space T to open your tools menu. Just go to selection and just select this building. See where it is. Yeah. And just select this move tool and see if this is selected. Yeah, for the first time. Like sometimes it doesn't get it from the first time, but yeah. I guess Malik is with me right now. So here's you can see. And now if you go to the selection option, and here you can see the name, just copy it. Go to go wait, go to tools and RPF Explorer. Let's Okay. Uh, RPF Explorer is still loading. Just wait for a few minutes. We're gonna change it like for whole legion region in upcoming videos. And guys, I am working on I'm working on like animation videos of Blender, how to animate things if if you want a tutorial. Let's see. And I will I will post my animated videos to my YouTube channels. Like there is a different category. These categories are five M and second category of my channel is like animation and anime. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I know that most of the views are from the no subscribers, so please subscribe. It's mean a lot. Now let's get back to our RPF Explorer. Yeah, just paste the name and click on enter. It will search all the props you're building. Yeah, here we have the idea file. If you click on it, you can see that this is the building we want. Just minimize it for a second. Just right click on it. Export XML. And we're gonna expand, export it in on desktop. Make it a new folder so that you know what you're doing and what's your full various folder. Like, Bill. No. Uh, 5 m Just, I'm gonna make this like 5 m So the select and select folder. Now, minimize it and open that thing. Here's this click down this arrow, go to material and save all textures. And just for the texture purposes, I'm gonna make it a new folder textures and just export it. Let's take a time, it takes a time because there is so many textures. So just wait for a while while it is, uh, you know, export all the materials, the 40 textures, and the how briefly uh, we have a building we have a texture let's import it now just click on v and v and import code worker excellence go to your desktop 5m and here is your and here is also textures my bad here is the building let's import it it will take a certain time and here is it and these are the lightning the don't 
ever test these these are if you go to this mod you can see where the lighting is coming from like it's nothing but it's just a lightning how your MLO shows at night I will show you this is the MLO and this is the lightning it has lightning you can see these are the lightnings we are showing it okay these are these are the lightnings which is shown in the given parameters okay so yeah that's how lightning works you can delete them you can add it your default by in co in here also so just take it uh, now click on view pivot shading media and yeah my phone rings so that's i have to pause it uh so yeah here you can see the shaders okay but you can see the summer shaders on machine just click on v Find meshing textures. Go to your desktop folder. Go to your 5M. Go to your textures. Find missing textures. And here, as you can see, our building is like totally exported. And how it is seeing in the MLO. If if I will go to this real shading, you can see here are the light. Okay. Yeah. Here's the lightning. I. I showed you in here. Here also. Where is it? Yeah. See, here's your like totally. You can just click on it, change the light, press G, press G, and you can just move it anywhere you want it. I won't want change it, and that's how. And like I am giving us bonus tip that's in the upcoming future videos. But here is the same method how you make an MLO. Now you have your building, just make make it base, restructure it, and that's how you made a building. And that's the main thing in the building, like that's a portal and everything. We're gonna cover it in the MLO series. We're gonna start soon. Before that, I want you to like know the basics of Code Walker and Blender. That's uh, that's why I'm making these videos so you know how to export import. So that's why our work can be seamless. So this is a quick tutorial on how to import things. And so that's how you do import buildings. And if you want to import a prop, that's how it is done. Like if nothing, like if I just want to import some props. Yeah, wait, let me, let me, here's the boat, I guess, here's the boat, you have the LOD, no, I don't want the LOD version, is this the boat, no, is this the boat, and just remember, whenever I see from it, like, fire, is gonna select it as a LOD, you see, LOD, we don't want the LOD version, so we're gonna just go close it and just if LOD isn't there, like if it's LOD, it's gonna name it like as LOD at the end. Just you just make it copy the face in the code worker. That's how it's done. Bye bye. We're gonna meet at the next video soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It helps me a lot to motivate. Bye bye.